the AJJ is the breeding ground of most of these players out here. I absolutely love the AJJ. So much fun. Biggest thing for juniors. It was great, I loved it. The AJJ was very awesome for me, I think, growing up. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, growing up as a junior golfer, that was uh, the elite events to play in. I was very fortunate, got to play in quite a few AJJs as I was growing up. The more tournaments you play in, the better, um, because you, I really do feel that you learn something new from each tournament, each hole. You learn so much. Learned the rules, learned tournament experience. About the game and about yourself and about the other players. Just how to travel, you know, how to deal with different people from different cultures in different parts of the country. It was great. As a junior, um, I didn't really know what tour to play on or if there really was a kind of a level that I need to reach. Uh, when I first started playing and somebody introduced me to the AJGA and uh, when I first got out there, to me it was just a huge tour with the best players in the world and the best competition out there so it's uh you know, definitely huge for, for a junior golfer. It was a great way to um, get to play with girls my age and um, get to play in the, the top competition in junior golf. And so the more competitive experience you have, the better it is to continue the, your game. And to get seen by the colleges and, uh, you know, playing, uh, I think I played maybe, you know, five or so a year and, uh, you know, enough to, to get a few uh, scholarship offers and get an opportunity to go play uh, college golf at South Carolina. And was able to get a scholarship to Stanford. I was lucky enough to get a scholarship at UCLA. It was huge in helping me get a scholarship at Duke. Go to college, get your degree, um, you know, and then, and then turn pro, you know, when you've matured a little bit and, um, you know, just tra traveling with a team and learning, that was the hardest thing for me out on, on, on the road was, you know, traveling, you know, 25, 30 weeks and uh, booking hotels and flights and all that good stuff. So um, you learn that, I think, if you were to go to college, you learn how to travel with a team and uh, get to travel the world a little bit and uh, grow as a person. So go to college and just stick with it and never give up. Just play as much AJG as you can. You know, don't get frustrated if, if the results aren't coming quickly because I know sometimes we want to perform right away. Uh, you know, one day you'll shoot 65, the next day you'll shoot 80 and you have no idea why and um, there's no reason why. You know, it's golf and that's why I think that uh, most of us play is because it's so different day to day. Just keep chugging along, learn what you can learn from the best players and, you know, just keep working hard at it. There's a lot of opportunities. So if you put the work in, um, the reward is definitely there and, and worth it. Practice hard. I mean, that's it's the only way uh, to really get out here. Because of the AJGA is why I'm standing here, you know, playing the, the LPJ uh, today. The AJGA was very instrumental of getting me to where I am today on the LPGA Tour. What better way to start your professional career than starting on the AJGA? It's just, it's a great experience.